Good morning, everyone. Today is the third Sunday of Advent, and it is also known as Godet Sunday. Do you know what color that is? Do you know what color Godet is? It is rose. And this week, the church calls us to focus on joy. So let us take a listen to today's gospel reading, and let's see how we can think of how we should focus on joy. Okay, here we go. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. John was in prison when he heard what Christ was doing. So John sent some of his followers to ask Jesus, are you the one we should be looking for? Or must we wait for someone else? Jesus answered, Go and tell John what you have heard and seen. The blind are now able to see, and the lame can walk. People with leprosy are being healed, and the deaf can hear. The dead are raised to life, and the poor are hearing the good news. God will bless everyone who does not reject me because of what I do. As John's followers were going away, Jesus spoke to the crowds about John. What sort of person did you go out into the desert to see? Was he like tall grass blown about by the wind? What kind of man did you go out to see? Was he someone dressed in fine clothes? People who dress like that live in the king's palace. What did you really go out to see? Was he a prophet? He certainly was. I tell you that he was more than a prophet. In the scriptures, God says about him, I am sending my messenger ahead of you to get things ready for you. I tell you that no one ever born on this earth is greater than John the Baptist, but whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Maybe you were expecting that today's gospel reading would be full of joy, of a, of a happy story. But instead, we hear in today's gospel what seems to be a very sad reading because of John the Baptist. So what is the difference between happiness and joy? Well, happiness is in the mind and in our feelings. It can change just as the weather changes. Joy is something that is deep in our heart, in our spirit, in the center of ourselves. And that is, could not change. That is not easy to change. Joy is something that is so deep within us that nothing can take that away from us. So as we heard last week, John the Baptist, Jesus's cousin, was telling people in the desert about the coming of the Messiah, the long-awaited one which all of Israel had prayed for. At this time, the Israelites were under great distress, and they were desperate, for they were under ru the rule of the Roman emperor, and many were poor, and they had very little hope. But all of a sudden, we have John the Baptist who comes onto the scene. He was the herald, the messenger. And he was the one who spoke so strong and gathered hundreds and hundreds of people around the Jordan River as they waited for the Messiah or Jesus. Now, in today's story, we hear that John the Baptist is in prison and things are not looking so good for him. This certainly doesn't sound very happy, does it? In fact, he will never get out of prison. He will die in prison. But the reason he is in prison is because he was telling people, including the king, that they were not living God's better way. And that they, there was someone coming, the Messiah, Jesus, who would show them how to live God's better way. 
Word spread of what John was preaching by the Jordan River, and that is what led to his arrest and imprisonment. But this is just one way that John helped Jesus. What he did there by the Jordan River, by preparing the people to listen to Jesus. But now that John was in prison, John had sent some of his followers to Jesus to see if he did the right thing. And Jesus responded to John's question with what we would call the good news. Jesus tells them to let John know the blind can see, the lame can walk, the sick are healed. In other words, the world is a better place because John helped Jesus share God's healing and better way of the world. So although the world is better in general, the world is not better for John. In John's world, as a matter of fact, it's worse. But John helped Jesus share a better understanding of God with the people. He did lose his own freedom because of it. But John knows that there is, there is the afterlife, that we have the kingdom of God waiting for us. So in going back to this third week in Advent, the idea of joy, the joy is in knowing that Jesus is coming. The joy is in knowing that Jesus shares the good news with us that if we follow him towards his Father, we will be healed and the world will heal with us. So take time today to focus on how you can bring healing around those to, to those around you who need it and spread some joy to those who might very much need it, just as Jesus does for us. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.